Weather Authority Local Forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you and yours have had a splendid week, and now the weekend has arrived. All right, let's take a look at your RV World Human Sky Cam as we take a look at the water towers in the Yuma area on this quieter Friday night as opposed to what it was last night. And here's what we're kind of checking out in regards to the satellite radar perspective and uh, the quiet night syndrome as far as the sky conditions are concerned. Certainly at well in play, so not even a cloud breaking through or, or maybe a light cloud at most. So a very quiet scene indeed. And speaking of quiet, that's what we're getting with the winds as well. Uh, again, a far cry from what we had just yesterday. If a little bit of activity exists, it's between Ocotillo and El Centro. So again, the kind of night that we're, well, actually deserving considering what we've been through again the last couple of evenings. Temperatures as they stand, we're talking about the spectrum of the low to the high in 70s, in some cases even into the 80s as well. On the Yuma side of the desert southwest, we're checking in with high in 70s, low in 80s. Again, it could be warmer than this, but certainly warmer than it should be. Keep in mind, we should be in the high end 80s as far as middle to high end 80s as far as your daytime highs are concerned. And we're kind of there, or at least a little bit below there. And your future cast, well, you got this swath of cool air. And believe it or not, it's making maybe a minute impact on us, but we certainly have that low pressure, that high pressure disturbance, or not disturbance, but ridge well to the south. And of course, that's going to continue to hang out, but nonetheless, we are going to get a cool influx of air in your metric cast. 69 degrees by 8 a.m. We'll check in in the mid 90s as we get on to the 2 p.m. hour on your Saturday before we start to uh, relegate the temperatures yet again. Now for your extended forecast, your Yuma International Airport extended forecast, we got wall to wall sunshine and we won't get any breezies until we get to Monday of next week. So we're talking about uh, Monday and Tuesday, but that's going to set up for some pretty nice weather. I mean, we'll be in the 80s for a four to five day stretch. That's pretty good considering the time of year we're in before we start to get those temperatures back up in the Imperial Valley. You see it a uh, bottom out at the 84 degree mark and then we get back into the low end 90s and really the overnights don't change all that much here in the Desert Southwest. 